Hi guys, Retro Jango here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful Warp 1260 card, how to install it in your Amiga 1200. As you can see, we have a normal Amiga 1200 motherboard over here. That one ran, uh, runs perfect. And at the side, I have got this over here, the ACA um, 030 card. Runs beautiful. The thing is, you just check out the old card, whatever you have got installed, or maybe you haven't even installed nothing. But um, yeah, open the back plate, pull it out, and just slide this beautiful Warp 1260 card in. Now, as you can see, it has got built-in compact flash card reader. So this beautiful mounted compact flash card here is not important anymore because we have everything here this one will have reading speed under two megabytes per second this one has got much much faster reading speed we're gonna test it uh, in, a, in a later upcoming video so go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want to see much more about this warp 1260 now after installation <laughs> it runs with the uh, 68060 50 megahertz as an option you can buy this beautiful fan and install that we're gonna do that in this video also because i want to run with a higher speed with the cpu so cooling fan is a must other than that as you can see here this wire goes out to usb two usb plugs and this beautiful cable here to digital video out just pulled off the floppy drive here so we're ready to install the digital video out and USB. As you can see, you have this back plate you just have to remove and put this inside there. That's why I had to remove the disk drive. But after installation, the floppy drive should, um, should be able to be mounted on top of there. And if you look at it at the other side here, as you can see, the card slides just into place. Now, um, as I said earlier, I want to overclock this. Usually I will run 50 megahertz, but when I want to play around with this, I want to overclock it. And I have printed one of these 3D uh, printed um, to get some more air inside, to have better air circulation so we can cool this down because I don't know how hot it will run when it runs 105 megahertz, guys. Build quality, 3D print, looks nice, looks great. So what you want to do is actually you just remove this plate, standard Amiga 1200, and you will install this beauty. As you can see here, this will be on the outside of the case. So uh, let's try to plug it in and uh, include it with this uh, shipment. You got this mounting screw also. So that's just beautiful stuff man yeah let's go ahead and try to install this nice and easy now there we go let's look at this oh man it looks absolutely amazing you can use USB mouse here. I think you can um, you can also use a wireless mouse, guys. Caesar said that it can also uh, yeah um, be used with wireless USB mouse and also with cable, of course, and digital video out. Perfect, man. Perfect. <laughs> it's just an easy fix. It's just you know digital and USB fits. Fine guys, really, really fine. And let's look here. Oh man, I love this. Look at this beauty guys. Let's install the disk drive now. <laughs> oh, looks great. And 
the floppy drive. And it should be like this. Yes, fits fine. The flop drive sits perfect, and the digital video out and two HDMI sits fine. And we have room here. So it's great. When I was installing the cable, I pushed it too hard. My finger uh, slipped, and I hit one of the pins. It went in here and went out through my nail out here. So uh, I just got a hole on my nail, guys, installing this. So be careful. <laughs> and yeah, so stuff like this doesn't happen. All right, it hurts just a bit. Damn, I have a hole in my nail. So the warp card is installed, guys. I love this. As you can see, plus minus cable to the fan. Now, as I said earlier, this is a must. Buy one of these. As you can see, we have the connectors down here, power from the floppy here, and the cables for the uh, LED indicators. Now, before we install that, we have to take care of this ribbon cable. Because as you, as you know, when this one is installed, we don't have that much room to install this. But it is possible, so you have to fiddle around with it it's a tight fit over here but it works guys it is installed as you can see the ribbon cable here but it, it is a tight fit so we will give the floppy drive power from here let's do something uh, like this There we go. And uh, this one will be the keyboard connector. Other than that, as you can see, we have got the connector between the warp and the fan, and it will be over here. There we go. And this little LED indicator will be over here. You're ready to go, guys. As of right now, we're ready to go. The floppy is installed. Warp is installed, digital video out, USB, the fan, everything is ready. The compact flash card is included, installed. Well, this is also included, this cable. Um, the way it goes is you can install it here. I'm just going to show it. Um, and from here, you have got... These cables, as you can see, they will go in to the Amiga's native sound output. So this will be an input to this card and from here to the monitor. It's not programmed, it's not finished yet, but it is on the way. It's just a matter of a firmware update. And the other part is, as you can see here, as of right now, you can actually use your um, RGB out and use the video uh, sound cables from there put in here and through this connection you will have sound from your RGB out also nice <laughs> so guys this is how you install the warp 1260 I hope you enjoyed it take care of your nails when you install one of these <laughs> But it's pretty simple. I didn't get an installation guide, no, nothing like that. But everybody can do this. It's just straightforward. Everything clicks into place. 3D printed here. Perfect. The screw inside, perfect. Fan. This is just a bit tricky, but it fits perfect. It's so nice. So on the next video, I will connect this, give it some power, and enjoy this first time with you guys. Stay tuned guys. Bye.